Psalm 139, verses 1 to 6. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You hem me in, behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain it. The Gospel is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 1 to 13. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels and do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith, so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body, so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies... They will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly. 
but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, and then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. Hello. The lovely Psalm 139 celebrates the intimate knowledge God has of us and every stage of our growing. Let's look at it a bit more closely. I quote, you have searched me and known me. David prayed to God, understanding that he had personal knowledge of him. David knew that the true God cared enough to have searched and known each man and woman. It's not just that God knows everything, he knows me. And it's not just that God is everywhere, he's everywhere with me. It's not just that God created everything, he created me. Quote, you know my sitting down and my rising up. David used this phrase to say that God knew everything about him, even the most everyday things. As Jesus would later say in Matthew 10, verse 30, God knows the number of hairs on our head. And again, you understand my thoughts are far off. God not only knew the smallest aspects of David's everyday life, he also knew his thoughts. God knows our words before we speak them, and there is nothing of us hidden from the all-knowing God. As David wrote, you are acquainted with all my ways. And the next part, you have hemmed or hedged me behind and before. The normal sense of a hedge in the Bible is of a protective barrier. God hedged David on every side so that nothing would come to David unless it had passed through God's permission. What was true for David is true for all who trust in the Lord. It can be very uncomfortable to know that you're always being watched. We may get nervous if we see video cameras monitoring us at all times. Yet our unease is based on the fact that we doubt the good intentions or goodwill of those who watch us. The child is comforted that a loving parent watches over him. When we are confident in the love and care of God our Father, 
His constant knowledge of us is a comfort rather than a curse. And on in the psalm. And laid your hand upon me. As with the hedge, this was an expression of God's love and care for David. This was not the hand of oppression, but the hand of grace. And finally, such knowledge is too wonderful for me. David understood that God knew him better than he knew himself, a wonderful and humble place to be. We sometimes reject what God and his words say about us and our condition. We should recognise that he knows us better than we know ourselves. Never will God demand of us less than we can in his strength give. Never will he push us too fast or overload us too quickly. In partnership with Jesus, we can look forward to a lifetime of growing, blossoming and fruiting in an environment of total security, warm affection and the knowledge of being precious and valuable. Travel 
travelling the way I should, where all I see now is to go. Your is telling me the way I go, and it's from the old I travel to the new. Keep me travelling along with you. Give me courage when the world is rough. Keep me loving all the world is tough. Be dancing in all I do. Keep me travelling along with you. And it's from the old I travel to the new. Keep me travelling along with you. You are older than the world can be. You are younger than the life is. more people um, to, to take part. If you'd like to take part, let Mike know and he'll put you in contact with us. Um, but all you will need is not as difficult as you think it will be. Um, we will send you the words, uh, we will send you an audio file and then you just need to play your audio file, you'll need to listen to it and then you just film yourself on a phone and then send that to us. Right, so, have a lovely week.